So the Democrat infighting is still happening and it will continue to happen for many years because of their embarrassingly preposterous coverage of the 2024 election and even the previous ones. No one trusts them anymore. People like Joe Rogan and clips on Twitter have more leverage than they do. And their new theory behind that is because cable or broadcast news stations are heavily regulated. Platforms are not regulated right now, which gives them car blanche to whatever they want right now. Elon is not someone who likes to be regulated. And right. so to buy MSN, he would go under some federal regulations. Who's regulating CNN right now? The FCC. We're not a, we're not a broadcast. It's cable. I mean, I don't, I don't really think, I don't really think cable stations are under the same regulatory structure that, over public that, 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 that broadcast is. It's yes. definitely I mean. regulated more than the, the, than Facebook and they're still Twitter. by heavily regulated. They mean sometimes facing lawsuits for slander or false advertising. So maybe if they just don't lie, then there won't be any problems. But as far as them being regulated for saying something misleading or profanity or nudity, they regulate themselves. So I'm not sure where they're going with that. And broadcast is more regulated from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. because it's in the public airwaves. You can't show profane content like sexual activity, grossly offensive language, etc. But still, they aren't required to show show both sides of a political issue. They used to under what was called the Fairness Doctrine up until 1987. What she's saying is that there's still a litmus test of journalism that you have to pass. You can't you come don't on TV have and on just platforms. make on things, make up things and say things. That happens on X. Please don't give me the eyebrow furrow no, as I'm... if you don't know what I'm talking about. Have you seen the liberal side of YouTube or the liberal side of X? It's pretty equal on both sides as far as misleading content is concerned. I mean, on Twitter, you get paid for the amount of engagement in the comment section because that's where the ads are. So a lot of it is annoying clickbait but it's still significantly more reliable than the clown news network because we get to see clips that aren't taken out of context and news stories that you wouldn't otherwise see because it wouldn't fit the liberal media's narrative there's also a fantastic community notes section that can quickly fact check misleading or fake content it happens often on x i can go and say the color is blue and i will be met with so many disrespectful remarks no one's regulating the n-word no one's regulating right. um the criticism no one is regulating how people are treated how, how much government the regulation lies. of the first amendment are you for let me tell you something if i came on here and i just started calling you all kind of names do you think the bosses would let me continue to do that i mean it happens i mean yeah and he has a phenomenal temperament because i wouldn't last a day on this show and words like the n-word or slurs or anything should not be regulated because who's going to be the arbiter in determining what hate speech is this could go poorly on both sides but it doesn't happen <laughs> it does for happen. me and i know that i wouldn't be able to do that there's a level of professional and, and, and what we do here, because we are journalists and we adhere to something, at least morally, and there is no moral compass on this thing called We're also having a Does it ever occur to this woman that there's even the slightest chance that she's wrong about certain issues? And if there is that possibility, shouldn't we hear from multiple sources, even if they are offensive? I mean, I've been wrong before. When I was eight years old, I voted for Barack Obama in my elementary school. Okay, it was probably seven, but you know, I had a lot of growth and maturing from then. 